China has just invented a new battery that could literally mark the end of gas car usage forever. And honestly, this is why I love making videos about China, because every day China is inventing the technologies that are changing the future of our world. But Chinese tech goes well beyond new battery technology. And in today's video, I'm going to share with you four major breakthroughs China has achieved in 2025 that are going to produce dividends for many years to come. From a record-breaking bridge to world-class AI models and even nuclear energy breakthroughs, if you want to know where the real frontiers of innovation are happening and how China is leading the charge, this is the video you need to see. Let's dive in. Now, I've covered the rise of Chinese EVs for years now, and while EVs continue to gain popularity across the globe, there still is one major issue, the limited range of batteries and the constant need for charging. But with China's latest development in battery technology, electric cars can now travel more than a thousand kilometers on a single charge, which means this new battery could make a round trip between Los Angeles and San Francisco without stopping even once to change the battery. Chinese scientists essentially made a self-healing battery and it's going to completely change the future of electric vehicles. You see, when a normal battery runs for a long time, tiny cracks form between its parts, kind of like how roads crack after too many cars drive on them. These cracks make the battery less efficient and shorten its life. So Chinese scientists invented a special type of glue made from iodine that automatically moves to the damaged spots while the battery is working. It fills the gaps and sticks everything back together again, exactly how your skin heals an open cut on your finger. This new technology allows an electric battery to store 86% more power than before, and it's something that no other scientist in the world has even attempted at making. I'll drop the full link to the whole story down in the description below, but this leads me to the second recent breakthrough for China, and it's the construction of the tallest bridge that has ever been built. Located in one of China's poorest regions, Guizhou, this mega project shockingly took just three years and eight months to complete and will cut travel time between the two sides of the canyon from two hours down to two minutes. In fact, China is one-upping itself as the previous record for the world's tallest bridge is being taken from another Chinese bridge in the same province built in 2016. The Huazhang Grand Canyon Bridge soars about 2,050 feet above a river and will bolster the local economy by connecting major tourist spots in the region, as well as becoming a destination in itself. The bridge features a high-speed glass elevator that can send visitors to a coffee spot 2,600 feet above the river. Visitors can bungee jump off the bridge, enjoy views of a waterfall, take in a stunning scenery, or walk across a 1,900-foot high glass walkway looking down at the ravine below. This bridge has been going viral on social media because Americans are dumbfounded that it was built in under four years and at a cost of only $300 million. It has been half a century since the United States has taken on challenges like this, and as a result, citizens have forgotten how a government is capable of pulling off such great feats. People online have been quick to compare the construction of this Chinese bridge to the repair of the Francis Scott Key Bridge, which collapsed in Baltimore last year after being struck by a ship. The repair of that bridge, which already has much of its structure in place, is expected to take four years and cost $2 billion to repair. Meanwhile, China has built the tallest bridge ever, completely from scratch, at a cost of just $300 million, and it only took three years and eight months to complete it. Honestly, this story reminds me of a tweet I sent out last month where I shared this video of the world's largest train station in Chongqing. Whenever people ask me, Cyrus, what's China like? I jokingly respond, I would tell you, but you probably won't believe me because many Westerners just simply can't comprehend how advanced China has truly become. But now I want to shift to the third breakthrough of 2025, which is all about AI, because one of America's largest tech companies is actually powering their entire AI ecosystem with Chinese, not American tech. It's a wild story because we all know that AI is reshaping the job market rapidly. Nearly half of workers worldwide fear unemployment due to AI and technology. And if you're worried about AI and how it's going to affect your life, I want you to listen up as I've teamed up with OutSkill to bring you a two-day live AI mastermind training, which has so far been attended by over 10 million people globally. OutSkill is hosting a two-day live AI mastermind this Saturday and Sunday from 10 a.m 
to 7 p.m. Now, usually this is a paid training worth $395, but for my loyal subscribers, Outskill is offering all of you a free seat at the training. You're not only going to get AI certified, but we'll also learn how to build AI powered workflows, use AI tools, and even learn how to launch an AI business that could generate over $5,000 a week in revenue. It's rated 4.9 out of 5 on Trustpilot, and you will get trained by expert mentors from companies like Microsoft, OpenAI, NVIDIA, Google, and more. In just 16 hours, you will learn 10 plus AI powered tools, master AI and Excel sheets and presentations, start building your own AI agents and workflows, and even join a community of AI builders inside their seamless learning dashboard. And if you attend both days, you'll unlock bonuses worth over $5,000, including a prompt Bible, a roadmap to monetize AI, and your own personalized AI toolkit. Save your free spot now via the link in the description and join their WhatsApp community so that you never miss a beat. But now let's talk about Chinese AI and how one of America's biggest tech companies, Airbnb, is actually using Chinese AI to power their entire AI ecosystem. Brian Chesky, the co-founder and CEO of Airbnb, made headlines last month when he revealed to the media his company uses Alibaba's Quen model as its primary AI tool. Think about how far China has come in AI development if this American company is not only choosing a Chinese model over ChatGBT, but is also using a model from behind China's leader, DeepSeek. Chesky said that ChatGBT's integration abilities were not quite ready for Airbnb's needs. In contrast, Alibaba's Quinn model was very good and also fast and cheap. There are two key differences that set Chinese AI apart from its American counterparts. The first difference is open versus closed models. The US focuses on pouring billions into closed source profit-driven models, which has led to a massive speculative bubble in the stock market. Some AI analysts predict that this bubble is 17 times larger than the infamous dot-com bust. Even Sam Altman, CEO of OpenAI, has acknowledged the growing AI bubble as the industry continues to attract hundreds of billions in investments. In stark contrast, China's approach to AI is radically different. Chinese AI models emphasize real-world applications and are most importantly, open source. Open source models focus less on investor profitability and allow developers to tailor them to their specific needs, making them more appealing than closed source giants like OpenAI. To date, Alibaba alone has released over 300 open source AI models, supporting more than 170,000 derivative models, making it the world's largest open source AI ecosystem. Alibaba co-founder Zhou Tsai recently stated that the true winner in AI will be determined by who can adopt it faster, rather than who builds the strongest AI model. He believes China's emphasis on cost-effective, open-source AI is better suited for faster adoption compared to the U.S. approach, which sinks billions into developing massive, trillion-parameter models. The second difference in Chinese AI philosophy after open-source is doing more with less. You might have already heard about the groundbreaking DeepSeek model, but researchers at Huawei have taken that breakthrough a step further. DeepSeek famously used around 2,000 specialized chips when Western models required 16,000 or more. Even more shocking is that it used just $6 million in raw computing power, a tenth of what Meta spends on its AI technology alone. Chinese engineers have taken this philosophy of beating Western models with a fraction of the chips and funding to the next level. While the US had what seemed like a years long or even decades long lead in AI, Chinese firms simply don't have the hardware to match the performance capabilities of Western firms. But Chinese scientists have overcome this technological hurdle by doing more with less. Huawei has created AI clusters of less advanced chips that can communicate with one another to rival the performance of Western firms. This has led industry leader and CEO of NVIDIA, Jensen Huang, to say the unthinkable. China has some of the best entrepreneurs in the world because they came from some of the best STEM schools in yes. the world. We're up against a formidable, innovative, hungry, fast-moving, under-regulated, yeah. okay? People don't realize this. They are very lightly regulated. <laughs> some of the things I, I heard, uh, they could never build AI chips. That just sounded insane, too. Uh, that China can't manufacture. China can't manufacture? <laughs> if there's one thing they could do is yeah, manufacture. Yeah. Um, three, they're years behind us. Is it two years, three years? Come on, they're nanoseconds behind us. 
nanoseconds. Yeah, they're nanoseconds us. behind us. And so we've got to go compete. You heard that right. No one knows the industry better than Huang, and he believes the technological gap shouldn't be measured in years, but in nanoseconds. Clustering massive amounts of these chips and powering increasingly powerful AI models will require huge amounts of energy. And this fits perfectly into the fourth and final technology from China, the massive breakthroughs in Chinese nuclear energy. Take a look at this graph showing the projected power demand for AI data centers alone. Now compare that to the outlook for 2025. The current demand is already wreaking havoc on the United States electrical grid. And as you can see, this demand is only set to explode in the coming decade. The truth is, the US grid is nowhere close to being prepared for the electricity needs of these massive AI data centers. Power output in the country has remained stagnant for over 20 years. In contrast, China has seen almost uninterrupted energy growth year after year to match the increasing demands of the modern world. In fact, China generated more electricity in 2024 than the US, EU, and India combined. One of the primary ways they've been able to achieve this is by embracing and massively improving nuclear energy, a proven technology that has been neglected for many years by the West. Take a look at this graph comparing nuclear reactors in the US and China. Not only is China's construction of new reactors surging as seen in the bottom right corner, but the cost per watt to operate these reactors is consistently the lowest, hugging the bottom of the graph. Contrast that with the United States, where many reactors are outdated, and operating costs are often double that of China's. China is not only investing heavily in traditional reactors, but they are also leading the way with cutting-edge advancements in nuclear technology. Earlier this year, China successfully brought the world's first thorium reactor online. They're also breaking records in nuclear fusion development, with scientists achieving plasma temperatures six times hotter than the sun. To meet the future demand of energy, the United States would need to undertake a massive nationwide project using a variety of energy sources. But so far, politicians from both parties have shown themselves completely incapable of stepping up to this challenge. As a result, big tech companies have been building massive data centers in small towns across the United States, completely overtaking local grids. To make matters worse, these companies pass the increase in energy costs on to residents. In these towns, power bills have soared, rising a staggering 267% over the past five years. The build-out of energy infrastructure and who it is designed to serve clearly highlights the difference between these two governments. The Chinese government has been preparing for this moment for decades, never letting up on its focus of energy development. Meanwhile, the US government has remained stagnant, focusing more on short-term goals and overseas conflicts rather than investing in its own infrastructure. It's clear from these technological developments that China isn't just catching up to the West, they're speeding past it. Whether it's game-changing solid-state batteries, infrastructure projects that leave the West in the dust, or nuclear advancements, China is showing the world that it's not waiting for permission to lead the 21st century. These four stories about EV batteries, infrastructure, AI, and nuclear energy are just a few examples of China's recent breakthroughs that are challenging Western narratives and changing the world in real time. And honestly, I could have highlighted many more examples of Chinese technological advancements from this year alone. And that's why it's so important to get your information from those who've been on the ground in China and truly understand what's happening inside the Middle Kingdom. As always, I want to thank you all for your incredible support and make sure you sign up for the free AI training from Outskill. This is an amazing value and I'm so happy that I can give back to you, my loyal subscribers. As always, thank you all for your continued support and we look forward to seeing you all in our next video soon.